How do you ship orders? Since you weigh the boxes after the customers have ordered, how do you know what shipping to charge them? How do you cover that cost? I have been stumped about that process. Shipping is such a headache for me. Shipping is so expensive in Canada. How did you figure it out? Today, I'm going to be doing my best to answer all of those questions and show you from beginning to end how we pick, pack, and even print out the shipping label for an order. I'm going to share screenshots exactly how we set up our shipping and the back end process on my computer of what it looks like so you can get set up too. My name is Tina Nguyen, founder of XXL Scrunchie. I launched my small business back in January 2020, alone in my 400 square foot apartment. Today, we operate from our 5,000 square foot warehouse, having processed over 35. Well, our, our counter now says our counter is at 37,000. People often ask me, how do I ship orders? How do you ship an order? I have no idea where to begin. Today, I'm actually going to be explaining how to ship an order step-by-step step for your small business. And I'm going to be sharing some major shipping mistakes I've had in the past. So hopefully you'll learn from them too. I'm gonna be using Shopify and ShipStation. Shopify is where we host our website and then ShipStation is where we print off our packing slips and print off the actual labels, which you guys will see later on once we get to that step. With the help of my friend Lauren from Clo Design Studio, she set up my website on Shopify. It's a far more versatile, user-friendly platform, which is what our website is set up on now. And I love it. This is where your customers on your website are going to make purchases. This is where you'll update your inventory. This is where you'll update your shipping settings. And it's also where you can connect with your couriers of your choice and then get better rates in Shopify. In step one of how to ship items, you need a platform to host it all. But first off, let me create a draft order and it's just gonna be a test order. However, even with new tech, we're never gonna be perfect as a small business owner. I know that I'll face customer queries over time. Customers may ask for updates on their orders, which can result in hundreds of emails every few months. But every response you send is important as this is the key aspect of customer service that can reflect on your brand's reputation. It's something that I and the team try to really focus on. Finding the right words to communicate with customers in very situations can be challenging and I wasn't perfect when we first started. That's where HubSpot comes in. They've compiled a collection of over 50 customer service email templates. These cover a range of scenarios including welcome emails, apologies, thank you notes, upselling opportunities, onboarding processes, account handoffs, and many more. These pre-written email templates can be customized and personalized for each customer, saving us significant time compared to writing each email from scratch and also giving you a strategy on how to approach different issues that may arise. This resource was provided by HubSpot, today's video sponsor. I appreciate their support and I highly recommend downloading their collection to customize your brand's messaging in a way that aligns with your customer's communication strategy. Let's pretend this customer ordered a Leia XXL scrunchie, which is our most popular, one of our most popular scrunchies. Since this is a fake order, I'm just going to give it a discount of 100% just to show you guys what it looks like. Custom free shipping, $0. Apply. Market as paid, create the order. Now I'm going to show you guys a screenshot of what it looks like for a customer to place an order just so you understand these shipping settings. So let's look at my site first. What do I have? Oh, I have all this in my cart. The next step will be for the customer to enter their shipping address. And then here you'll see shipping method. Lots of friends have asked me this. How do you change that to say local delivery? And then there's track expedited shipping, Canada Post Express priority. Let me show you how to customize 
customize this so that your customers know what shipping settings to pick. For example, track shipping is with a tracked label, but local delivery, you can't put that if you're not gonna offer local delivery. Local delivery is when my dad or Jeff deliver the package by hand to the customer. Back in Shopify, you can go to your settings and then you would hit shipping and delivery on the side. And here is where you can do general shipping rates. And if there this was empty, you would click create a new profile. So let's pretend to do that. Create a new profile. Shipping zones, you would create a zone and you would select the country, for example, Canada. And then you would click the countries that are eligible for this shipping rate. I'll click all of Canada. You can do it per province. You can make them really custom because shipping to BC costs twice as much as shipping to within Ontario. But we keep those rates all the same, but you could customize. Let me show you. You click done, says there's no rates. Customers in the zone won't be able to check out. By adding a rate, you can use a flat rate. And what I did was hit custom. After I hit custom, I typed in what I wanted it to be called here. I named it tracked expedited shipping myself because I thought that made the most sense for a customer. So you could put free shipping, you could put tracked shipping. I would put the days like eight to 15 business days, custom delivery option. So this optional word is for, you could put tracking number provided. And the price of this is $9.99. However, if customers in our shop spend over $99, it's free and I'll show you how to add that. So I'm going to click add conditional pricing and then it's based on order price. So from zero to $98.99, it will cost them $9.99. I'm going to hit done. I'm going to add that free rate. So I'm going to add here, go to custom, custom rate name, free tracked shipping, eight to 15 business days, tracking number provided. See the checkout preview down here? That's how it shows up to your customer, just like it does here. And then that will be free, but you have to add the condition based on order price if they spend a minimum of $99.99 and there's no max because they could spend as much as they want and we'll get free shipping over $99.99. Hit done, remember to hit save. I'm not going to because I already have these rates existing. And there is that one question a customer said, if you already pre-charge your customer before you weigh out their package, how do you balance out the cost? We, we don't. For us, we pay more shipping than the customer does because we'll charge them $9.99, but it could cost $20 to $25 depending on the weight of the package. Unfortunately, that's just something you can't get around unless, let me show you. You want to charge them exactly what it would cost because it often costs more. If I go and create a zone again, let's say Canada again, add rate. I can use my carrier rates, which I'm going to talk about right after this. Having a carrier, for example, currently we use Canada Post. If I click carrier rate, rates shown at checkout based on customer's address and order weight and dimensions of the package. You can click on which ones you want to show up. For example, I have, this is how much Express Post would add actually cost and what we're being charged so there would be like the shipping would be balanced that's how you set it up if you want those rates but that means for every product you upload to shopify you have to enter the correct weight of that item <laughs> For example, one of my products and a customer ordered Abigail, then the shipping label would know how to calculate that weight because in here, in the product, you would put their weight right here, the weight of the actual product. And then you'd need to include the weight of your packaging as well because packaging weight gets accounted into your shipping label cost which I didn't know one time and I had like 200 packages returned to me only because we started using these boxes and I didn't realize they were so much heavier than the other ones I already pre-weighed into our system. It was such a nightmare. So make sure everything is weighed exactly. In the order, when you click create shipping label, you'll see the option down below for package and weight. You can enter the total weight with the package that you weigh yourself. To add the pre-package, pre-weighed package, you can add a package, name it, add the length, width, or the weight. You can also go into settings, shipping, and you'll see packages there because you'll have to pre-assign the package to the customer's order if you want them to have those carrier calculated rates, if you want them to be super precise. 
we don't do that we charge a flat rate depending on the customer's spending amount and then in ship station is where we select our packages that the sizes show up automatically without us having to enter it in every single time and we weigh it on the spot basically every time the customer's order is going to cost their shipping is going to cost more for us than what they actually paid we just kind of have to deal with that as do a lot of companies Let's talk about couriers. I've been using Canada Post since the beginning of time, only because it was like the only place I really was familiar with. Like I've mailed letters there before. I've brought packages in to ship with them before. And when I got my first batch of orders, I remember going to the post office with my arms full, little grocery bags full of the packages. And I just like brought it to the counter and they would put the labels on and weigh it. And one package, a couple streets over, when I was living in Toronto, $30 because I didn't have a small business account or a commercial account. And when you sync with Shopify, you get Shopify discounted shipping rates, which I didn't know for the first batch of order. So don't do that. Save you, it will save you money, it'll add up. In order to get courier rates, you'll need to have a courier of your choice. I know there's other third-party shipping companies out there, like I know there's Stallion Express, I know there's ClickShip, I've heard of Chit Chats which I wish we could use because I saw the rates are so good all over TikTok. Technically, right now in Shopify, if you set up with your couriers, meaning if you go to settings and you go to shipping, you can manage your accounts, your carrier accounts and add your couriers. And you'll see we have Canada Post here. We have FedEx, but we've never used it before. I just have the account. You gotta sync your accounts so that Shopify knows who you're going to be shipping with. And then they'll give you those rates and then they'll print off the appropriate labels. Let's Let's say you weren't using ShipStation, which is what we'll be continuing on the rest of this vlog with. You could create a shipping label just like this. This is what I used to do before I used ShipStation. Create shipping label and then here you can enter the weight. You can also pick a package and you can pre-enter the, the types of packaging you have. Here you can add package and put package name. Is it a box, envelope, length, width, height? Saves you a lot of time. Here you can see all the rates that Shopify offers. Like they even have UPS Expedited, UPS Express Saver. Let's say I wanted the shipping date to be today, but I would probably pick Monday because today is Friday. They don't ship out on weekends. It's always business days only. So I would select Monday and then you can buy the shipping label. I'm not going to click buy because I don't want it to buy, but I'm going to do that in the next step in ship station. We are going to move on now to ship station and I'm going to pull up the order just to give you guys a little description. Ship station is a platform that syncs with my Shopify store and we've been able to add these SKUs. Let me show you. All of our products have SKUs and barcodes. Why you're wondering? When we print off this packing slip, the packing slips have all the information we need when we're picking the customer's order. And the packing slip goes in order of the warehouse. If they ordered a Cameron and an Alice, Alice would show up first. We made it like that so we could pick in order of the warehouse. And that's just a feature we love about ShipStation and why we use their packing slips instead of just printing right from Shopify. If you wanna know how to barcode all your items so that you can pick them, I have a whole dedicated vlog on just that. But now we're going to pull up that fake order and here you can print the packing slip. And this is what the slip looks like and we're gonna print it off. Now we're going to pick the actual fake order and we will go to ShipStation, and another thing why I love ShipStation is we can scan to verify. And by connecting a scanner to the computer and on the packing slip, we have the option to customize and add a barcode. We can scan to verify. At the top of ShipStation, you'll see you can hit scan. Right now we're going to scan to verify, but you can also scan a print, which we'll do in the next step. But right now we're just scanning to verify. So we'll go there, scan the slip, 
and the order pops up right there, which is important because now we're gonna go scan for the actual item. For this order, they got a Leia XXL and I will scan the barcodes. Ta-da! That noise indicated that order was done being picked. Now that we have the customer's order, we'll move here to our hacking area. And what I'll do now is open ShipStation again. We'll scan the slip to bring it up so we can scan to print, printing out that shipping label and purchasing the shipping label. And scan the slip and the item comes up, a spot to add the weight and choose the shipping service and select the package and all that good stuff. But for us, our next step would be to write the customer's name on a thank you card. So I would write their name. I'm not gonna write it because it was a fake order. I don't wanna waste a card, but we'll, we write every customer's name. We handwrite all their names on a thank you card. And each order also gets a free scrunchie sticker. So the next step would be to pack up the order in the appropriate size. Try to pack it in the smallest box possible. For example, I would not pack this scrunchie in this box unless the customer really requested because it would cost way more because that box weighs more than what we would be shipping it in, which is this envelope. And we put it in a bag first. So we'll put it in a bag with the sticker and the thank you card. Fold it all up nice, we'll put it inside this bag. And the next step would be to weigh it. We have our scale right here. And this package weighs 72 grams. I would go up here and type that in. I would select the package. When I click it, it already adds the dimensions, so I don't have to type it in individually every time. Everything looks good. And then I would print the label. And this is the shipping label. You would then stick onto the bag and you would put in their packing slip in there so the customer can see what they got. Take this off, feel the bag, put this on it. And then what we do is we put it in one of our bins because we have a shipping courier come pick up our packages. Before, I would put them in one of these bins and then my dad would drive them to the post office. And then before that, I would bring them in a bag to the post office with the label already pre-printed because that's what's gonna save you time. Looking back on this journey, I've come to appreciate the continuous improvement because these barcodes we only just added a couple months ago. Before that, we were just picking the item from the packing slips. Every hiccup we've had, every challenge has been an opportunity to grow and evolve. And I hope by sharing this, it helps at least one person figure it out a lot sooner than I did. And remember, shipping isn't just about moving products from A to B. It's about delivering on promises and exceeding customer expectations every step of the way. Let me know if you have any questions about any of the steps that we went through, and I can try to answer them in a new vlog. Thanks for being here, XXL fam. Hit the like button if this video helped you or is going to help you and subscribe to learn more from us.